Man, like how many of us get distracted on our phones? I get distracted on my phone at work. Like while I'm working, I'm yeah, yeah, my yeah. Phone. yeah. So that I could see like easy. Imagine you're at home, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, you're chilling in bed, and you're just like, ah, okay, whatever. That's easy. Yeah. And then that turns into another hour, two hours. You look at it, it's midnight, and you're like, we were on our phones the whole time. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Coffee Breakup, starring Marvin Charles and, and myself, Christian Vera. Ah. So. With that being said, well, before we begin, very yeah. important, please like the video down below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, ring that notification bell so you're up to date with all of our content. Mm -hmm. We're on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Twitter. Website, coffeebreakup.com. Check us out. Listen to us on the go. Spotify on iTunes. With that being said. Got a new guest, Willie Brew. What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? Oh, I'm yeah. so glad you're here. And we tried to make this work for a little bit. It's been a while. Always, it's been uh, a while since we've been trying to do this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. And you always kind of... Uh, you're a busy guy. He's a busy guy. You, you're a busy guy. You couldn't make it. But yeah, you, man. It's been tough, but... We got here. We <laughs> got here, right? <laughs> Eventually, it happened. I mean, it, it, it's. Uh, I never said no, right? You never said no. You just said not right now. <laughs> not right now. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, That's funny. I, yeah. I definitely wanted to, to get you on. I mean, obviously, I've no. We've known you obviously uh, since high school. You we went to yep. Springs. And that's kind of how we met. Um, but just to give you the audience a little bit of background, you know, tell us who you are and what you do. And uh, yeah, you're a very busy guy. So how busy are you really? Shoot, man. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look at my schedule? <laughs> <laughs> um, man, my name is Willie Abreu. I went to the, the University of Miami, played baseball here at the University of Miami. And uh, now I play for the Colorado Rockies. I'm in their organization, Double A. Nice. That's, oh, so it's, yeah. it's been Abreu this whole time we've been saying to Brew. <laughs> bro, funny. How do you? Yeah. Funny. How funny. do you pronounce let's, it? Let's let's because I always uh, thought it was a Brayu because I, I mean I like yeah, baseball, like Bobby, Bobby Abreu, Abreu, yeah, stuff Abreu. like that. But in middle school, Miami Springs, my dad was a teacher, and everybody used to call him like Mister Brew, Mister Brew, Mister Brew. Like it, mm -hmm. it was like really cool, Mister Brew. So I was like Willie really Brew, Willie really Brew, and like everybody called me that. I was cool with it. And I get to UM. This is already I'm you know 18, 19 years old, and like man, we're playing on ESPN. You know like. You're playing on TV, and I remember the guy that does our social media goes, uh, Cam, that's one of my boys, bro. And he goes, hey, how do you pronounce your last name? And I go, a brew. And he goes, like, a brew? What about, it's not a brew? And I'm like, like I don't care, whatever. You use whatever you want. A brew, a brew, whatever. He goes, no, bro, like, we're on TV, bro. Like, we need, like, what's your name, bro? Like, what are we going to use? I'm like, well, in Spanish, it's abreu. Like yeah. he goes, oh, Abreu. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Like, that's your last name, bro. Like, make sure you tell people that's your last name. And I was like, all right, bro. Like, I don't really care, but all right. Yeah. Dude, let's really? do that. Yeah. He was yeah. like, like, yo, you like, that's this your is name. a big like, deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. This and is was, your future. And, but like, I guess you see that, right? Like people, I, I don't know if you guys ever seen like girls in class, like, is your name this? And like, no, miss. My name is this. Right, like, right, 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 right. I was never that guy. Like, Hey, how do you spell your name with an I, I, E or a Y? I was like. Bro, whatever you want, dude. Like, Jesus. have at it. At the end of the day, yeah, it's the same. <laughs> like, I didn't really care. There he are people care. that really do care. But my guy was like, yo, like, this is another thing now, right? Like, you're going to be a professional. You want to be a professional. Like, make yeah, sure. Your name's a brand. Your name, yeah, your name's your brand. Your yeah. name is what you sell with. Like, you got to have it the right way. You Holy know? shit. All these years, I, I never thought it. Well, the Abreu. It's Sorry. just so crazy because I know your sister too. Yeah. So it's like you guys would always say a brew. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of like. Okay, Anyways, I'll, I'll well, stick to that. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> this like, is a big deal for us, knowing yeah. that I've known him for so long and they've been saying his name wrong the whole time. So this is this is it's a big. Yeah, it's big like deal. revolutionary for me. Don't worry, I didn't know till recently. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Yeah, now I know how to say my own name. Anyways, um, continue. Give us a little yeah, bit busy like, guy, yeah. So yeah, so uh, in the off seasons, man, I do work really hard. So I I get busy in the things I do. My girlfriend actually lives in Tampa. So uh, when we got together, I decided like, hey man, if I'm gonna make this work, I'm gonna go over there and, and be with her as much as I can. And one of my buddies actually plays. Well, this is during quarantine, right? So like, there wasn't much here, anyways. Yeah. There wasn't much anywhere, right? Like we we're <laughs> getting locked out of parks. The gyms were mm. closed. Like. You know, the stuff was going well, that's on. That's true, yeah, because you yeah. couldn't even go to the gym for a while. Yeah, so it was Even like, you guys. Yeah. So I was pretty like, like, what, man? Like, I can't. I used to train at UM all the time and at uh, Infamous. Uh, Infamous. Yeah. But then. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, but then I said, like, man, I can't go to UM anymore. Infamous is closed. Like, me and Poyo were getting thrown out of parks all over the freaking Hialeah, Mammy Springs, everything. Like, everybody <laughs> was running us out of every park. So yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me go to. Tampa, because one of my buddies, Mike White, I don't know if you guys follow uh, the NFL, whatever, he plays for the Jets, quarterback for the Jets. Um, 
he's like, bro, like we have a gym that's open in Tampa. And I was like, what? Like, all right, let's go. Like, I'm, I'll so, be there. Like my girl lives there. Like, we'll, oh, we'll kick it there. Yeah, yeah. Like, cause we were doing the whole back and forth thing. Like she will come down here. We'll be over here. Then we'll go over there, like back and forth and back and forth. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> all right, bro, I'll be there. And, uh, I started working there, training there. And I, you know, how long have you guys been together? Yeah. Almost three years now. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, when was it? Oh, so this was quarantine, so about two years ago then. Yeah, two. two so a year into the relationship, you're yeah. like, oh, this yeah, yeah, kind of works. Yeah, that works. Like I was like, all right, let's do it. That's but so it was cool. quarantine, right? So like, it made sense, and then it just got really comfortable there. You know, like as a like me and her being able to spend time together and having a little bit of time away, right? Like down here, you know how it is, bro. Like you just don't stop, right? You don't yeah, stop. And yeah. for me, I was like, for this to be able to, for I needed like a little backup. To like regroup, say, all right, I'm gonna go over there. That's cool. Yeah, we've been chilling, you know, it's, it's like we get to get away a little bit. Not only that, it's also like it, it feels like you come down here and it's like the craze of, you know, family or being pulled exactly. over here. Exactly. Oh, but over there when you're with her, it's like work and her. That's it. That's it. That's it. I and don't it's have It's like to, that support system of her being like, oh, I got you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. That's so dope. And that's, that's one of the things that here, like, like, you know, Marvin sees me, bro. Like I go to the gym at five, like to get away from yeah. everything. Oh, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Like, I don't like to be around. Okay. <laughs> I, I have like both. Things, I don't you know, like, be around people. I'm okay. Them. I'm okay. I'm okay about being around people, but like, it's, it's tough here, bro. Like it's a lot of people all the time. And then they're like, Hey man, I know you're in Miami. Like, come by. You know what Especially I'm saying? Like, since hey, you were like, here. Come yeah. over here. Come over yeah. here. Come over there. Yeah. And it's like, all right like i guess i can right like it's the off season so i train i do my thing and then when i'm done it's like oh come over here i was like all right i'll go over there oh come over here all right but then when do i rest like when do i yeah for real you know when do yeah yeah when do i get to like you know just chill it could be overwhelming man especially because you're you're from here you have your family here exactly friends and and then now, like, as a professional, you know, there's always something. You know, you know you're people. big time now. Yeah, you know people. Yeah, real big time. Yeah, Local super, celebrity. super big time. No, yeah, but I'm I mean. A celebrity. No, no, <laughs> no, no but think about it. It's the whole thing. No, yeah. but think about it. Like, really think about it. Like, you know, he was, when I met you, you know, you, you were smaller. You know, mm-hmm. you were still getting into baseball. You were still good at baseball. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, I remember I was, like, in high school, and he was, like, a eight, like in eighth grade. And he was already playing with us. And I was like, who is this kid? Yeah. And then to <laughs> see you then, and you am, like, on TV. Mm-hmm. And then to hear you get signed. It's pretty big, okay? This is a big deal. It was a big deal for me. Hey, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we continue, we just want to say thank you for supporting us, and we hope you enjoy the show so far. As you know, we're going like crazy, so we want to give you guys more content, but we're very limited on what it is that we can put on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Spotify, all that good stuff. We got to battle their algorithm. So we do want to move a lot of over our content to Patreon, where we have more control to really interact with you guys and give you guys what it is that you want. So moving forward, the audio full episodes will still be available on Spotify and iTunes, but we are going to be changing things up when it comes to the video to put it on Patreon. Mm -hmm. Now, stick around to the end of the episode where we'll talk a little bit more about Patreon. You can see what it is that we're doing, but we have full control to really interact with you guys and give you guys what it is that you want. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. That being said, enjoy the show. Peace. I think think that's pretty good. Let me fangirl a little bit. Yeah, yeah. No, every time I see him at the gym, I'm like, Willie Abreu. Oh, I'm sorry, no, Willie Abreu. Yeah, Abreu, yeah. Because you know, his name is on the wall in, 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 at the gym. And is it? Yeah, <laughs> next time I take a picture, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah man. Real? So every time I see him, I'm like, oh, shit, that's dope. That's but, pretty dope, dude. Yeah. I mean, that's man, feel weird. Listen, no, because, bro, I love this place. Like, I love Miami. Okay. I love all the people here. Miami's like, home. I know, exactly. Like, I know a lot of people. Well, let's get into it, bro. Like, let's let's talk. Like, yeah, you know, people, that, like, can we? Cuss a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Dude, I don't like want. to cuss, but like let's yeah. let's just let it loose a little bit. Whatever. No, I'm, I'm gonna try not I'm gonna try not to, but like, you know, that's one of the things that I see about Miami. Like people like to talk smack about other people and other people's businesses. And like you guys have a podcast. People might say, like, oh, that podcast is whack. But like yeah, they talk, yeah, yeah. that's not what they da, 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 you know, like and then somebody else goes, Oh, that, that oh, they're trying to be an influencer, that's whack. Like, yeah, oh, they're trying to do this, that's whack. Like, no, nah, bro, like go do your thing, bro. Like, yes. why not? Why not? Yo, if you hit it, you hit it. That's Man. so like, true. I don't understand, bro. You go to Alabama, you go to this place, that place. Like, oh, bro, they're so proud of their people. Like, oh, yeah, bro. We're, that's that's big. Like, yeah, 100%. And it's like, Listen, why, you why so here? Much. Yeah, like, why, why do I go to all these places and people talk about Miami? Like, they're like, oh, my gosh, that place is amazing, bro. You guys have it. Like, isn't that awesome? And it's like, bro, the people don't, here don't realize how great it is to be here. Like how, what kind true. of platform and what kind of place we're in? Like, yo, if somebody wants to be a damn TikToker, like tell them like, yo, 
bring your TikTok over here. We're going to do it on our podcast. We're going to yeah. put, I'm going to put you on while you put me on. Like, let's push each other to like have but, a better, but everything here is so like, no, nah, that's whack, bro. Like this is raw. What I do is raw. What you do is whack. They're all like on the like, defensive. Like, yeah, always like, no, nah, no, nah, like, no, 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 bro. Like mine's the best. You, yeah, that's why mine's the best. Like, you don't, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, Making yeah. fun. Everything is like, ah, yeah. oh, nah, bro. Like Jealousy that's not and cool. Competition. Jeal- exactly, Instead bro. Like, of like, I, I think it's, I think it's so hard to make it in Miami because the people in Miami don't really support you until you are that big. Like nobody thinks you're gonna make it in Miami until, until you, make you it. do. And then they're like, oh my god, I knew this guy. Da 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 da. Like I knew they were gonna be good big, but like you never supported me when I was going through it. And I feel like that's like a common thing in Miami. It's hard to make it in Miami. Well, because the people don't you, generally support you as much as others. Like if you, I lived in Texas for two years, and it's totally different in other yeah. states uh, than it is here. That's kind of my perception that I have in Miami. Like everybody's what you were saying. Um, it, it, it's you know they kind of like to bash you know even when you're trying to come at, when you're trying yeah. to come up. You know? Well, well, that's that's the thing, right? I think the reason that I talk like this so freely about that, and under I'm not scared to like help some. Like when you asked me to come on the podcast, like. I never said no mm-hmm. because yeah, I, because true. I would never not want to support somebody here trying to do, get better. Like yeah. maybe we weren't here before, but we're trying to get there. Like, let's try to get to wherever yeah. we want to go. So like, for example, when I, the, my bad, bro, I, I no, no, lost no, my no. train of thought, but when I, when I talk about things like this, right, like I never had, I never didn't have support from people here in Miami. Like since I was a young kid, like I could, I could honestly tell you when I was a kid, nobody not many people were ever like, no, don't work hard, bro. Like that's embarrassing. Like, you know, people made fun of me sometimes and they thought it was funny because like, damn, bro, you don't party. You don't do anything. Like dog, all you do is work out, drink, eat baseball. But like people were always really made sure to tell me like, Hey, you're going to make it, bro. Like they gave me confidence. Like people around me gave me more confidence than what I had in myself when I was a younger kid. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like people around me, the, this city built me up. Like Hialeah, because I'm from Hialeah, like built me up. Like the people that I met, you know, like the people that were surrounding me. Mm. So that's the same type of thing that I try to bring to everybody else. Like I never knock anybody for their crazy ass aspirations or dreams. Like there is no limit to what we can do. But I think the people around us is what makes us like, oh, you're right. That's probably too nuts. Like, no, it's not that crazy, bro. Like, there's people really doing it. I got a little emotional there because, dude, I remember when I was, when I saw you for the first time. Yeah. N- not like, not even like through your sister, mm-hmm. like literally on, on the field. Mm-hmm. He was like, he was even in high school. He was just there practicing with us. And I can remember all the older guys like, what's this little kid doing here? Like, mm-hmm. look, he has no arm. No, look, like mm-hmm. he, he listen when he swings his bat, like he can't. And in my head, I'm like, yo, like he's here. Yeah. Like he's still here. Eighth grade, young or seventh grade, I forgot what grade, but I'm like, he's not even supposed to be here, yeah. and he's still throwing further than a lot of the other guys that are here. He's still hitting the ball further than everybody here, and I'm like, why this kid who's here trying, right? And he's pretty good already, yeah. But he's here with these guys, and like they're still talking crap about him. But luckily, ties into that, yeah. But luckily, luckily, like I'm sure that always happened, right? Like I'm not like oblivious to these things. Like I'm sure, sure. things like that happen, mm. but. It was never told to my face, which I know people say like, oh, bro, people talk crap on my back. So, yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Like that comes with the territory. But what's dope is that nobody really had the maybe nobody had the boss to tell me that. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that that's also a thing. Like, hey, they might say behind my back, but like they don't want to tell me that to my face Mm. because I don't want to kill your dreams or anything like that. But yeah, don't kill my dreams, bro. Like, That's that's okay. Like, that's okay not to kill my dreams. Like. I mean, you that's also when we like, were when we were younger. It's also like that little like everyone was talking crap about everyone. What's sad is like if you're older and doing, yeah. you but at the same time, it's like I'm still dating back to that time, and I'm like, bro, this kid is good. Like he's here, and then you'd have like these old. I think the, the other older guys were jealous because like, why is this kid here? Maybe you know. But it's like he's here working, and I bet you those same people are the ones when you now that you made it, they're like. Mm-hmm. I used to play baseball with him. I knew he was going to make it. You see him? I played with him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then I, I think, and I could just be like, you were talking shit. <laughs> you didn't even give a fuck about this kid. Yeah. And now you're here. Like, but that's the problem with Miami where it's like yeah. what you guys were saying. Mm. Oh, you only get supported once you make it. Once you make Other it. Other than that, no one wants to support you on the ride. But when you're there, it's like, 
I've known. Look, I've been following them forever. I'm already following yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but where were you? But I'm glad that you had, like, you said, "Hi, Leo." You know, that's your home. That's where you're from. Yeah, like, I'm, gl- I'm glad you had the people geez. around you that did help you, that did elevate you, yeah. that did push you. But I remember when I met you, I was like a sophomore. I just came from this country, and you were like mm-hmm. tall, and you were like already like you huge. Like you're already <laughs> like a big guy, and you. I, I remember when I met you, you, you played baseball, and now full circle, you know, 10, 11 years later still playing baseball so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of you man good for you, Thank you. and i'm Appreciate happy it. for you what do you um attribute that uh that success to outside of yourself obviously you put you put in the yeah. work but what like motivated you what kept you consistent even on your rough days or even on your bad days my dad bro yeah my dad. i heard like i had a yeah <laughs> what did you hear no, go ahead no no, dad, no <laughs> dude your dad no, yeah, i thought he was rough bro. on you but he was he, man like i remember that walk i'd be driving down the school and he was just you and your dad yeah. You can hear him. He's been there for hours. You hear him like swinging the bat with everything he's got. And we're like, yo, this kid. But he was bombing that shit. <laughs> he, was in the four bo- he was in the ball for really far. But it's still, you <laughs> could just hear him like tired. And then he's like, another one. Boom, hitting another one. He goes, yeah. another one. He, yeah, he worked so like, you, bro. I, I mean, I, it's, I, I, I say it all the time. Like, man, I'm so thankful and grateful for having the, the parents that I do. Like my mom and dad are amazing, but my dad, specifically when it comes to you know the man that i am today like he raised me you know what i'm saying i was with him day in and day out and it's unbelievable to see how much of an impact the things i used to do in element like don't get me wrong bro like i know people say sometimes like oh things are easy like bro you're 6'4 230 pounds like (laughs) this is yeah like of course you play pro baseball you know what i'm saying like no bro but like when i was in elementary school and like everybody else was playing hopscotch outside bro like on saturdays and sundays and summers like bro i was practicing like my sister was reading a book at sparks park on a little chair in in the middle of the summer because my dad was a teacher and I was out there from 8 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, you put in that work. Like, and that was in middle school and then when, or elementary school. Then we get to middle school. Right now, he's with me every day, all day. Oh, like I was a middle school teacher. Yeah, he was the middle school teacher oh, at Miami Springs Middle. Oh, you couldn't even run away so, from him. So what do I do, right? My sister's almost, uh, I, you know, let, let's talk about like seventh grade on. My sister's in high school. So I used I used to know. <laughs> I still wake up early, but I used to wake up early then. <laughs> to, damn, now I think about it like, damn, bro, I've been doing this a long damn time. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> so I wake up early. I wake up when my sister had to go to school because they started at 730. We didn't they start did, till they nine, did, they did. right? Like high school started at 730. I, we didn't start till nine in middle school. I'd wake up. He, he told me, he goes like, you're going to wake up when your sister wakes up. And while she's getting ready to go to school till we leave, you work out. And I said, okay. I didn't say no. Like I, 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 I knew like he had the best interest mm-hmm. in me, even at that time. Like I, I loved them, even if it was tough love sometimes, a lot of times, yeah, almost yeah. all the time, but, <laughs> but it was great. You know, it was, it was exactly what I needed to be like, all right, bro, let's do it. So I would wake up every damn day. And when everybody had baby fat, I didn't have any baby fat. Like yeah. it was gone because that, that, that shit wasn't real. Like he goes, you want to get taller? Because I was only five, 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 four. We're going to the park every day before school to hang. Like, is that real? Do you think really you grow from hanging? No, but he <laughs> told me like, yo, let's try to do it. And I would go every day before school, work out and go hang, work out and go hang. And then go to school, go to school, right? I was a kid, eat crap, mess around. As soon as that bell rung, I had 15 minutes to get to my dad's classroom because in front of my dad's classroom, there was nice open grass and I would run sprints with, sleds or with anything really whatever i had to parachute like you know a little uh Jesus. what's it called the little boxes or all that ladders, stuff like yeah, ladders yeah. ladder drills i'll do it all and kids at that time that was one of the times that like my boys will pass by with like chicks and stuff like that like they're messing around with the school. Honeys going yo here. bro i'm doing this and Let's doing go. that and like you're listening to your little daddy bro nice bro <laughs> <laughs> like that's funny <laughs> Like that was one time that I, I do remember that. Right, mark that up. Don't make sure you put that in there. <laughs> I saw a little haters. All the haters in middle school. This for you, dog. No, <laughs> that might have happened like once. The or grudges. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you guys pushed me to get to where I'm at. You know, Dude, Man. But you have no, some. No, no, go, go I have a question. Um, what would you say to people who will probably tell you, like, or they'll ask you, you think your dad was too rough on you? Uh, How, yeah. Did that uh, affect your childhood? Yeah, it was your developmental. Because I mean, you're an athlete. Essentially, you got what the like you the mission accomplished. Yeah, almost. I guess. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. I mean, like, yeah, we, mission we're, accomplished. We're, yeah, we're we good. made it. Yeah. But do you feel like you kind of got a lot taken away from when you were younger? 
Did, were you ever like, man, I wish I can go over here. Man, I wish I can do this. or, <sighs> Bro. Or were you always programmed to say, yeah, I got it. Yeah, this, yes. Uh, I mean, he definitely molded me into that, right? Like, I, 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 can't, I can't say anything bad about that because maybe I'm as crazy as he is now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was like, yo, that was dope, bro. Like, that was amazing. Maybe, like, maybe, like, a 12-year-old kid shouldn't be here. Like, yo, that suck. You suck, bro. Like, <laughs> figure it out. Wake up. Right, Which, right, right. But then it was like, I guess he knew how to coach me because yeah. that's what fed me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe if he, I was his kid, not another kid. You know what I'm saying? So maybe if I was a softer kid that needed like, hey, buddy, like, you're okay, Participation man. trophies. Yeah, par participation trophy. Maybe he would have gave it to me, yeah. but like he never did. Yeah. And he still doesn't, which is what's dope because he motivates me even to this day. You know what I'm saying? To like, all right, like what? What's next? You want to get rewarded? Like, work for it. Yeah, like what? Well, for example, like I, I left school as a junior, and so since the day, mind you, I got drafted. In wait, what? Okay, so in college. Oh, you did. Okay, in college, okay. I got drafted as a junior. Okay. I didn't. I didn't do my senior year, so like I was a sixth round pick. There's forty rounds, so like it's a pretty high round. Like it's, it's pretty like. Did yo, you? That's did you dope. wish you? Go, you did your senior year? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy I did exactly what I did. So you did dope. graduate? Or like, how does it work? So that's where I'm going to okay, get to. Yeah. Like, uh, he goes, he goes, all right, so like, when are you going to start classes again? And this is like, I got drafted in June. This is like July, August already. In your head, about, you're probably like. And I'm like, yo, my man, bro, like, I just cashed my first check, dog. <laughs> like, I'm chilling right now, yeah. bro. Like, I've been going to school for a long time. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is do school. I want to hang out with my boys, relax, train now. I don't have to go to school. I don't have to do nothing. Now I could do is train, like. First time actually being a professional, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. everybody that's a pro athlete, like knows that first off season is so dope because you've never had that before. You've never had that much time for yourself. Like that was the first. And he was like, yo, when, when you started school? And I was like, uh, bro, like that's not happening. Bro. Baseball bag. Like, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah. Baseball. Glove. And this is the guy that used to tell me like, this is my, <laughs> you guys are getting some good intel here, bro. <laughs> like my dad used to say like, uh, you think Manny Ramirez knows how to do a math problem, bro? <laughs> like, you should go to the cages and hit. And this is like after school, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this do you do homework? Yeah, 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 this is my dad. Like, yo, do you do homework or do I go to the cages and hit? And like, sometimes mom was like, hey, maybe he shouldn't go practice from, you know, four in the afternoon to 10 o'clock at night. But and like, my dad would go like, you think Benny Ramirez knows how to do a math problem? I got you. you I got like, you. Mm. You think he's worried about math? And yeah. this one, they're in their prime. You know, you think David Ortiz cares about math? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. think Barry Bonds cares about math? Like, no, they don't care about math. They hire people to care about math. They yeah. they care about hitting bombs. <laughs> yeah, like, so yeah. that, let's go practice. Like, and I was like, all right. So then. But like, that was the type of dedication that, like, it needed, right? So then we go a year later, a year into my pro mm -hmm. career, and I was like, yo, shoot, bro, this guy won't leave this whole school thing alone. So I was like, all right, screw it, bro. Let's start doing school. But wait, There's why? two semesters. <laughs> that, and like, in the grand scheme of things, bro, to, and then to get a degree at UM. Dude, but think about it. Like, he just signed. He's like, oh, I never have to sit in a classroom again. <laughs> and then he's like, when's your next class? When's your next class? And then, bro, I get my degree. You mean so, when's practice? When's my first game? Yeah. No, when's class? <laughs> yeah, and this is the same guy that used to say, like, oh, all of this is baseball, That's baseball, what I'm baseball, saying. baseball, so baseball. What, the, what the hell happened? But he, it's just the mentality of, like, don't stop like don't stop and think like oh i made it yeah, like don't yeah, feel yeah. comfortable there's, there's no always certain, more there's always more to go there's always another wall to break there's always more to keep going right so so i even fast forward right we're going i quarantine happens and i wasn't doing i know you say two semesters right and that's what i thought too but like in reality like i'm not doing a full semester anymore True, gonna like i did a, i did a school i did i mean i did a class you know one class online then another two classes then another class here and there whatever but then when quarantine or when i got hurt i did my achilles then i went into school full time mm. i did four classes which was kind of weird i was like 23 24 now and in school with like all the other kids and stuff like that which it is what it is. It was cool. I got it done. Then when quarantine happened, I did my internship. My last semester, I finished school, right? Nice. I'm done with school. Get my degree. I go, my degree gets shipped to my house. Mind you, I'm living in Tampa at this time. My degree gets shipped to my parents' house here in Hialeah. And uh, my dad goes, hey, I saw the degree here. I go, yeah. Because I didn't walk or anything. There was no, you know how quarantine yeah, was. There was yeah, no yeah. actual thing. Ceremony. Ceremony. 
And he goes, uh, all right, so like, what, what's, what's the plan? I go, what, what do you mean, what's the plan? Put that thing in a, <laughs> put that thing somewhere and I'll come get it later. He goes, no, 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 like for school now. And I go, dad, like I'm done. And he goes like, done with what? Like, you got to get your master's now. Like, that's oh the next God. step. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, dad, I'm in school. Like, I'm playing. I finished school, bro. Like, that's, it wasn't like, hey, congrats, man. Like, yeah. You know, it's but tough. now, now that I'm older, like, I start to realize, you know what, bro? Like, every time he says, like, keep going more, that means he believes that I got more in me. Of course. True. Like. You're seeing that, you're seeing that now in hindsight? Like, now, you're, you're now. realizing that? Back then, I was like, yo. Bro, get off of my back. Yeah, dude, like, like I, I, I'm surprised you were never like, man, like my dad never appreciates what I do. Like, no, nah, he, he, but that, that, there, that's the problem. Like, I did my research on my dad. I do my own background research. <laughs> he's he's the big, behind my back. He talks a lot too, but he talks nothing but gold about me. He wants to. Uh, he's he's the proudest dad in the whole block, bro. Course, if you hear anything dude. about me, it's from probably coming from my dad. Okay. Cause he's like my big, he's my PR. That's, that's my guy. <laughs> yeah, that's my yeah. marketing guy right there. I got you. So, I got you. so he doesn't say it to me. I think more of a man to man thing. It's very manly old school. Like, yeah, traditional. Yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna like Cuban dad. Like, yo, you, yeah, you're doing all right. You can do more though. Yeah. You can do you more can do though. More. But then behind your back, he's like, man, this guy, I'm so Yo, proud. my son doing this. My son's yeah. doing that. Da, 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 da. So like, I continue to fight that battle to make my dad proud, but it, in a different way than it was before. Like before I was like, damn, is he going to be proud of me? Like, but now I'm like, no, oh, he is proud of me. Like no, he's, of course. of course he's proud of yeah. me. Like he, he shows it all the time. Like he continues yeah. to battle forward. And every, now I realize like every time he says like, Hey, can, like what's next? It's like him saying like, Hey, I was proud of you. Like you did good. Like now you could do better. Yeah. I know you could do more. What else you, you got in the tank? What else you got in the tank? Damn dude, man. Um, I guess that, but, but that's like a way that you and your father, I guess, you're able to have that understanding and that communication and, yeah. and kind of that bond because most people, like I'm hearing it, not understanding. And I can, most kids would be like, man, fuck my dad, fuck baseball. Yeah. I, I just want to hang out with my friends. Yep. And then I'm going to go do some drugs. But yeah. you didn't. You just picked up the bat and you kept on going. You yeah. were very disciplined. Exactly. But that's how your father showed you love and that's how you were, I guess, receiving the love. Yeah. It's not easy for most people. No, Imagine and it that. wasn't easy by any means, guys. Like, don't think I didn't have times that I was like, yo, damn. Bro, no, of course. Like, shoot, dog. This is it's tough on you. Like, man. bro, I remember being in high school. Like, I left Springs and I went to Matter. I graduated from Matter my last two years. And, um, dude, there was times that my dad was like, he wouldn't. Now I had a car, right? So, like, he wouldn't see me putting in the work. So, working out in the morning just was instilled in me so young that I didn't know anything else to do right so when i got to matter we started doing crossfit in the morning early i was like oh i want to do it in the morning yeah perfect and like it got to that point that i was like all right i'll be there 6 a.m i was in 6 a.m at school doing crossfit then after school or during lunch i i made sure that my last period after lunch was uh p like our weight room or something something that had to do with sports so during lunch i'd eat like for five ten minutes and then i go straight to the track to run with the track coach and he did like speed and conditioning for me really during lunch. So everybody's in the pavilions eating lunch, like kind of like our school. So you eat and then you just train train right there during lunch. I'm training while everybody else is sitting oh, there. Because then after lunch and after you train, you go to PE. Be. You're and I go work out to the gym. Jesus. Damn dude. So <sighs> then, so then right after that, after that school's done, right? School's done. We go to practice. We go to practice till six. And then my dad, now he's at school in Springs and he goes, all right, hey, now it's time to go to the cage to hit. So then, so now we're talking about a full day, right? Now it's nine o'clock at night and he likes to hit, me and him are very similar in ways too, yeah. right? Like he doesn't like being around a lot of people. So we hit at nine from nine to 10 at Babcock. Mm -hmm. So uh, we go there and it's like, bro, I'm exhausted. Like a lot of time. And if I took too long to get from practice to the, to the cages, he's like, bro, what are you doing? Why are you slacking? Like, why are you being so lazy, bro? Get here. Let's go. And I'd make an excuse like, dad, bro, I'm tired. Like, I'm, he goes, are you serious? So because he wasn't seeing me put in the work now, right? He was used yeah. to like the middle school. And then in Springs, he was always at practice. He just jumped right over. Yeah. Boom. You know? And now he's like, bro, are you getting lazy? Because you got a car? And on the contrary, I was working even harder now because now I had no limit to how much I could do. And I had to, 
but the only time you see me work was from nine to 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. So he's like one hour, you put in one hour of work today. Are you serious? Yo, but I was in the gym at 6 a.m. Yeah. It's tough, dude. So then how do you, so then th those were the toughest times right there because he didn't understand that he instilled something in me so young that there was like, you don't understand dad. Like you don't work as hard as me anymore. Like, mm -hmm. like I'm, but I didn't get that till <laughs> it took a long time till literally like when I became a pro. Yeah. Because now it got to a point right in college. Same thing. I'm at UM. Yeah. I work out in the morning, early before class. If there was a 6 a.m. group, I was there. You train all day. You go to freaking, you go to study hall now. Now it's college. Like you got a lot of other, you know, obligations. And then he's meeting me at the cage at nine o'clock at night. And hi, Leah. I lived at home. Like, he's like, nine o'clock, I'll be at the cage. Meet me there. And then it was, again, the thing, like if I ever said no, mind you, I'm 18, 19, 20 years old in college at the University of Miami. Yeah. And he's like, what do, you, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? No. I'm like, dad, I'm tired. He goes, no, 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 that doesn't work here. Holy crap. Like you want to be you, like, and then now I understood. I was like, oh shoot. Like, damn, I got, I got to, I got to do it. Exhausted, tired, right. wake up at four or 5 a.m. the next day, do it again for three years. And then when I became a pro, I started realizing like, damn, bro, I think he's realizing it. Cause I started working out at 5 a.m. And I'd be back home by the time he woke up and he was always very prideful of like, Hey, I wake up early. Like men wake up early and get their stuff done. And then I was eating my second breakfast by the time he was waking up. And he was like, oh, shoot. I could see it in his eyes. There was like this one day that we had that he was like, oh, damn, bro, this guy does work. Please head over to Patreon where you'll be able to watch the full episode, get exclusive content, and watch all of our episodes at an earlier time. Yeah, so uh, Coffee Breakup started, you know, being a short little break within your day, whether morning, afternoon, night, for you to get, you know, your information, 30 minutes, nice and easy. But obviously, as we're expanding, more guests, more episodes, longer episodes, we want to make sure that we can put that in the middle, little space for those who really want to enjoy those episodes. So head on over to Patreon where you can subscribe for a small little fee. It'll help us continue expanding our business and giving you that same content that you guys really want to follow us for. So again, thank you guys so much for everything. We couldn't have done it without you. But again, head on over to Patreon, check us out, see if it kind of tickles your fancy and we appreciate saying, your support yeah, we love you guys thank you guys later ciao